going on guys? Joe here for Gamer Toys and welcome back to another pickup episode. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it. Uh, I finally started seeing these guys. So of course, the uh, three and three quarter inch here for Solo. Of course I picked up my new favorite trooper, the range trooper. Um, even in three and three quarter inch, this guy's awesome. The packaging is pretty cool. I know a lot of people have been ragging on the packaging, but I've actually, starting with Force Awakens, I've actually been a fan of the packaging. Just a simple, small card back. Um, I like that it doesn't take up a lot of space, which is great. It's got a nice, sweet picture of the Range Trooper right here on the side. Just looking badass as all hell. Um, comes with his gun and the Force Link 2.0. I honestly couldn't tell you the difference. So here's the back. Pretty cool. I just like the figure. I don't really care about the Force Link. Cool stuff. And the only other new one I've seen up to this point, because I'm going to be going out looking, a Chewbacca. And who doesn't love another Chewbacca figure here? Pretty cool looking. I love the picture of him on the side here. He looks great. I like that you can see his eyes. Maybe you guys can help me here. Now, is it just me? Or is it driving you guys crazy, all you Star Wars fans out there, that to me, I feel like in the original trilogy, we saw Chewbacca's eyes. Like you could see his eyes, those baby blues of Peter Mayhew. You could see those eyes in those movies, but in Force Awakens and in The Last Jedi, and even, and I know it's there's a lot of dark scenes in this trailer, but I feel like we just don't see Chewbacca's eyes enough. They're just black, lifeless holes where his eyes should be. I feel like they need to do something to that mask so we can see his eyes light the scene better. You, man, you can get a guy with the flashlight and just put that light in those eyes because I want to see Chewbacca's eyes. That's where he comes to life. I love this figure. I'm actually a big fan of the uh, dual strap bandolier. I think that's pretty sweet. I'll be kind of interested in seeing how he loses that second strap. But this is an awesome Chewbacca figure. Love Chewie. I found Kimberly right here. I don't know if you guys can see it over here. I got Tommy and Jason hanging. And uh, Kimberly was the only one I haven't found yet. And then I found her at a Walmart and I picked her up. So it's basically, it's the exact same packaging as the uh, vintage. They just put it in this nice box. And the back here shows you how to flip her head. Shows the other figures, Jason and Tommy. The helmets and the Zords. I got rid of all of my uh, modern legacy collection. I love the vintage stuff. And even though I love those triangle box uh, five inch figures, I just got rid of them. I just. No. This is money though. This is money for me. This is where it's at. I wouldn't mind them continuing to do this. You could do the uh, you could do the movie rangers, the metallic rangers in here. I'll buy them up. So right here we got some vintage pickup, uh, some Ninja Turtles from my homie Toys for Sale. Uh, my buddy Toys for Sale I had a TMNT sale and I participated. I grabbed these. I have a couple more coming. Now let's take a look here. The file card, Portrait of Worm. I don't have worm yet. He comes with a trash compactor mallet, a worm knife, a worm belt, a porky pounder? That's, that's incredible. Uh, he was born in the city dump. Here's the uh, mallet they were talking about. And here's like a wrench with a porcupine on it. A knife? But I got five of these little wormies here. Can you see that little wormy? He's already got his belt on and here's worm. Man, I just love this figure. Look at these colors. I don't think Playmates has been able to make a figure this colorful in a while. Of course he has that articulated mouth, that hinge right there, which is sweet. He doesn't hold them all that well, but it's okay. Awesome figure, glad to add Worm to the collection. I've been after this guy for a while because the one I had was in horrible condition, and that is Space Usagi. His favorite food is Space Carrot Sticks, freeze-dried. Yes. He comes with his Cosmic Carrot Cannon, his Celery Silencer, that's amazing, and his Hair Helmet. Here he is, my favorite rabbit. Forget the Easter Bunny, all right? This is where it's at. Space Usagi with his cape, which is in great condition. Um, I know I put him up here, but it's, I know he's blurry as all hell, but you get the idea. Space Usagi is amazing. Here's his gun his uh, celery silencer, here's his carrot blaster, and of course his helmet. There is his helmet on, now he looks complete. Uh, love this figure, I love anything and everything that has to do with Usagi. 
when they put out those modern figures in the uh, 2012 Turtles line. Not that long ago, actually, they put out the 12-inch. I got all that stuff. Him with the horse was amazing. So I definitely had to upgrade my Usagi. Very happy I did. So yeah, I got Worm and Space Usagi. We picked up some uh, Solo 3 and 3 quarter inch, the Range Trooper and the Chewbacca. And of course, this is awesome too. We snagged this Kimberly of the Legacy line. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.